Welcome to the world of Maison Berger Paris. Episode 1. The Origins of the Lamp Berger. It all started in Le valois Perret in the late 19th century. Behind the counter at the pharmacy where he was employed, qualified pharmacist and chemist Maurice Berger, an entrepreneur at heart, made the most of the material at his disposal in the back room to give full rein to his imagination. This led him to create the first hygienic lamp, patented on June 16, 1898, under the name of L'Ampigénique Berger. In the 19th century, when the plague, cholera, and tuberculosis were still rampant in the French capital, and domestic waste was thrown out of the windows into the gutters, ignoring the impact of hygiene on health was no longer an option. The primary purpose of this lamp was to eliminate airborne bacteria and bad smells by means of its catalytic combustion mechanism and a burning fluid composed of pharmaceutical alcohol. The principle of hygiene through disinfection was born. With its capacity for counteracting putrid conditions and epidemics, it was first used in public hospitals, professional premises, and industries considered to be polluting. Maurice Berger, assisted by his wife, Hélène Rose Raymond, didn't stop there. In line with the adage, prevention is better than cure, he decided to develop this small lamp for household use to protect children and the vulnerable from illnesses, among other things. At the time, men smoked cigars night and day without troubling to go outside, and as a result, the walls of their dwellings reeked of tobacco. So the lamp also catered to women who found these smells hard to bear all day, every day. By then, Maurice Berger was proprietor of his own shop, Le Zocenteur, and the effectiveness of the lamp in smoky rooms was a sales pitch in advertisements, such as posters in the metro, which likened the lamp berger to pure mountain air. Another advertisement, dating from the 1930s, features a man smoking a cigar inside. He asks the woman sitting next to him, Is the smoke bothering you, madame? Not at all. For the young woman in a flapper dress is protected by a lamp placed at her side. The advertisements were not only aimed at the Parisian customers of his own shop. Maurice Berger decided to launch sales of the lamp in the large department stores of Paris and London. His wife, Hélène, accepted the role of sales representative. While the lamp Berger was gradually adopted by individuals of all social spheres, the Berger family, as enterprising as ever, continued to be driven by a desire for innovation. This time, the lamp was enhanced with a fragrance. Its role was no longer just to cleanse the air and remove bad smells. It became a decorative, fragrance-dispensing object. The lamp Berger enhanced interiors by providing a fragrant atmosphere. With the development of the fragrance line, Customers could now choose a scent according to the ambiance they wanted. After all, they were in their own homes. Today, a range of 70 home fragrances is available, so there truly is something for everyone. In 1929, this new characteristic of the lamp was embraced by 100,000 households in 27 different countries. A triumphant moment for the Lamp Berger. Today, this international dimension is still very much the case, as the Lamp Berger is exported to more than 60 countries. In the next episode, we'll embark together on the olfactory journey offered by Maison Berger Paris. From your armchair. A podcast by Maison Berger Paris.